welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome in general. I am Stephanie Lang and today I'm going to show you how to cover redness, rosacea, inflammation, all those kinds of things on your face. <laughs> Without any further jibber jabber, I'll just get straight into the video. So I hope you guys will find this helpful and give it a thumbs up if you do. Okay guys, so let's start at square one. The first thing you want to know when dealing with redness or rosacea is color correcting. So color correcting is basically using the opposite color on the color wheel to counteract the color that you're trying to get rid of. So in our case, we're trying to get rid of redness and rosacea, so we want to use green. Green is opposite to red on the color wheel and therefore it will counteract it and remove it. You got a few options here. I'll go through them quickly with you. So first of all, you could use a green primer. I like to use this one here. This is the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Anti-Redness Primer. This primer here, it is quite nice. It's not too slippery and your foundation will stay put. Usually I don't recommend primers at all. I don't use them on myself or my clients, but this particular one is kind of the exception. I do like this one. Okay, otherwise, if you don't want to use a green primer, you can just use a concealer. Here I've got the Makeup Forever number one camouflage concealer palette. It's got a few different concealers in it, but I would recommend using the green one down here to counteract the redness. Because this is a much, much, much thicker consistency than foundation or primer, you want to use it very, very sparingly, only in the areas that you really need it. And then third of all, you could use something that neutralizes redness, like the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Cream. This one only comes in one color, is the only issue, so if you are very dark skinned or very, very light skinned, it is not going to work for you. If you are medium skin tones like myself, it will work. This guy here looks like this. It's not green, but it does have a slight greenish tinge to it. And again, it will neutralize slash correct the redness. So what I'm going to do today, I would never usually do, and that is to apply all of these products. But there's no other way that I can really do it without doing three separate videos, and there's just no real need to do that. So I'm going to apply the primer first, so you can see how that looks when it goes on. I'm going to apply the concealer anywhere that I need it. Then I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Neutralizing Cream. Then I'm going to go in with foundation and powder. So basically, to cut a long story short, you want to color correct your redness and then go in with a foundation and set your foundation in place with powder. If you do not color correct before applying your foundation, you may find that your redness will kind of show through your foundation. And you also may have to use a foundation that is much thicker or has much more coverage than you actually need. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm going to use two pumps of my green primer first. And then I'm going to very, very, very gently smooth it over the redness in my skin. As you can see up here, it's a little bit green, but once you smooth it in, it kind of neutralizes. Okay, now I'm just taking a little bit of my green concealer on a Sigma P86 concealer brush. I'm only going to apply this where I really need it, which would be the forehead, corners of the nose and cheeks. Okay, so that is the majority of the redness covered, but just to show you how it works, I'm now going to go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Cream. I like to apply this with the It Cosmetics brush. This one is like a double-ended concealer brush. Like I said, a tiny, tiny amount of this goes a long way. I don't know if you can see, but that's how much I have on my brush, and that will do pretty much this whole side of my face. I just like to dot it on like that. Very, very gently just swirl it around the skin. Okay, so I bet you have the question, why do we have to wear foundation if we've put all this on our face already? Answer is, is that you wouldn't ever usually use all three of those together. You would kind of choose one or maybe two at the most if you need it. The only reason I did that was to show you how they all kind of work and so you can make a decision on which one you want to use. So your face at this stage most likely is not going to match your body. All we have done is corrected the redness, but we've not matched anything up to the rest of our body. And that is why we then have to go in with foundation that matches our skin tone. Today I'm going to be using the Maybelline. Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This is good for me because I have exceptionally oily skin and massive pores. Now at this stage you should only have to use a very very minimal amount of foundation because we have corrected the problem. This step here really is to just even everything out and make our face match the rest of our body. I like to apply my foundation with a sponge because I don't want to cause any further irritation to my skin by using a brush for foundation. So I just buy like a bulk pack of wedge sponges from Amazon. I'll link it down below for you so you can find it as well. And then I just pat my foundation on but I work in very 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 small amounts. Okay, 
Okay, so my foundation is on. Now I'm just going to set it in place with powder. This is kind of up to you if you want to do it or not. Even if you do, just apply a tiny amount of just a translucent powder. It will help to set your foundation in place and keep it there for longer. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color 310. I'm going to apply my powder with the Sigma F25 powder brush. There we go guys, that is everything that I put on my face to conceal and correct the redness in the skin. Remember, you don't have to use all of those products, you would usually only choose one or two or three at the most. I really hope that you guys found that helpful, I know that redness and blotchiness and rosacea aren't the easiest things to deal with in the face, they are difficult to conceal and they can tend to get you down, so if you can conceal them and bring back the even tone to your complexion, I know that it can make you feel a lot better. So I really do hope you guys found that helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. If you have any requests, just leave them in the comment section down below and I will film them for you. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!